today. From Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's week one of the NFL. Baker Mayfield and the Carolina Panthers versus Jacoby Brissett and the Cleveland Browns. This was a good one. Excitement all the way to the end. You had the points, and then they were hoping for the miracle there on the onside kick. Couldn't get it recovered, and that was your ball game. And I'm of the opinion that any time you actually do recover an onside kick, it almost is a miracle. It takes so many things going right to make it happen. It didn't in this case, and they walk off a victor. So for Carolina, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be back home next week for a date with the New York Jets. Today, from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. CD always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close good to be back in the booth with you my friend and it's good to be back in the booth with you as well and we know that not everyone's going to start the season one and oh right half the league is going to have a loss on their record but everyone's going to have to build off of that opener and how many coaches tell us every single year you make your most progress between week one and week two We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for Kansas City, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as a win by a touchdown. And they will head home next week to take on the L.A. Chargers. Today, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's week one of the NFL. EA Sports. We'll see Justin Herbert and the LA Chargers taking on Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. This was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Las Vegas, they begin the new year 1-0 as they come out victorious here. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody. Today, from Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans 
taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record, but everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two, We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for the Giants, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. Today... From U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. It's week one of the NFL. We'll see Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. This was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Minnesota, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Philadelphia Eagles. Today, from Soldier Field in Chicago, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears taking on Trey Lance and the San Francisco 49ers. CD always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season one and oh, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record, but everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for the Niners, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. Today, from Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Mitchell Trubisky and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, 
this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Steelers, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they'll return home next week to take on the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Today, from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Davis Mills and the Houston Texans taking on Matt Ryan and the Indianapolis Colts. This was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Indianapolis, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Texans, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos. Today. From Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. It's week one of the NFL. We'll see Marcus Mariota and the Atlanta Falcons taking on Jameis Winston and the New Orleans Saints. This was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Saints, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Joe Flacco and the New York Jets taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. 
but everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for the Ravens, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll return home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Today, from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. This was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Patriots, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. Today, from FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders taking on Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. CD always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season one and oh, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record, but everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for the Commanders, that'll be a happy locker room as they start the season 1-0. Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's week one of the NFL. We'll see Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. CD always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season one and oh, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record, but everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season. So for Philadelphia, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings.